Okay, so we need to multiple all of our forts because that's super expensive. We are paying 6.5 ducats to that. And, well, I don't know exactly how much we're going to make. Okay, so last time we uh, finished westernization and we also converted to Zoroastrian. Now, after finishing westernization, these guys should have been kicked out of uh, being a potential rival target, I believe. But uh, they definitely haven't, so... You know, before they do, in fact... It's still kind of loud. Before they do, in fact, uh, I just hate this song. There you go. Before they do, in fact, get removed as my rival, we're going to attack them for some PP points because uh, my ruler is really shit. He is absolutely jack shit, insane, terrible. The air is all right. The ruler is just so bad. So I'm gonna wait. What? How do I have forts everywhere now? Uh, well, whatever. We need to keep this fort up and running. Otherwise, he's going to instantly take shit. Yeah, I don't know what's... Why do you show so many forts? That's really awkward. I don't... I just insulted the latest batch, by the way. Anyway, we're going to declare a war on these before they, uh, before they switch out. So, here we go. I would upvote, but 4chan told me to hate Reddit. <laughs> Fuck 4chan, dude. Fuck it right in the bum bum. Okay. This is so stupid. Like, why does it show me all of these forts when I definitely don't have them? Maybe it just needs to, uh... to load up the, the autosave or something. I don't fucking know. Okay. Not entirely sure how that brought Uzbek in. Oh, because they're a vassal of no guy. Okay. That, that's fair. Create a similar post in 4chan. Oh, yes. Go ahead and do that. We'll, uh, we'll invade the entire internet. Good ass fucking times. Now we were trying to get that uh, Muscovite alliance, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Unless I improve relations like to the max and get a a dude. Definitely want to keep that Royal Marriage up and running though. This alliance with the Ottomans is gonna be shaky. And I need it to not be shaky, because if it's shaky then they might attack. And if they attack, well that stuff's gonna happen. Unless we ally the Muscovites fast enough. Okay, I wish I could get a cannon in these sieges, that would greatly speed up the progress. Now what are we really at war with? Okay. Whoring for upvotes on Reddit. Oh, you haven't, you haven't been here for a long time. I do that every time I post a new playthrough. I do that every time I post a new playthrough because it works. Last time I did that, I gained like fucking 20 subscribers, and they they kept watching too. So <laughs> that's some good shit, man. Okay. Definitely want to siege up Mush so that they won't build any new units. And I'd like to use these cannons efficiently. Uzbekis are coming, man. The Uzbekis are coming. It's not exactly winter. They're not as frightening as winter is. Okay. And we are getting a claim on the uh, on Armenia, so that should be good. I do believe I had way more mercs than this. I do, and I kind of want to use the mercs to siege the forts now. Ah, oh, we've got mercs here. That's 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 lickety, and that's good. Good ass, guys. Good ass. You 
Yeah, my army is uh, kind of everywhere and nowhere right now because we're not we're not doing shit correctly. Well, we just started, so it's it's all everywhere and nowhere really. We had to declare this war instantly because I was afraid that those guys would uh, those guys would leave, would stop being a valid rival target, and that will be bad. Ah, uh, that, that that's probably uh, that's probably it. Okay. How am I able to siege this? I thought cannons didn't count towards the required amount of units. Maybe you just need equal amount of infantry. And then you can fill the rest up with cannons. That's quite interesting. I didn't know that. But if that's the case, then we can get these guys out. And, uh... Well, we definitely want our ruler in there. Our ruler is in there. That's good. Got a cannon in there as well. And then we can move on to, uh... No guy. Uh, well, that and Gazikamook. Gazikamook is an OBM. I I'm not really worried about Gazikamook. You for is updating. Did we get a new patch? Yes, it fixed the uh, the bug that we had in, in the Italy game, where if you uh, if you finish the mission, uh, keep X out of Italy, uh, the game would crash. So. Our generals are quite shit. Doesn't really matter though. Because we can outnumber our enemies by a large margin. I don't really want to raise more taxes, but we are definitely losing money though. Maybe we should. We're definitely losing money. And I'm not firing advisors. I need every point I can get right now. Hi, Emily! Yeah, you need triple the amount of units. I thought that that was the case too, but apparently, uh, apparently that's... That's not how it works now. You just need three times as many guys, but, uh, the infantry only needs to match the, uh, the thing. You're wearing purple. <laughs> Start wearing purple. Start to wear in the purple, wear in the purple. Hmm. Now, Gazikamuk, if I'm not mistaken, has cores, but I do believe they're the primary primary nation of. Uh, Dagestani, so I can't make them revoke wars. Who are they allied with? Yeah, Kunguli. That's not. It's not gonna give me a lot of prestige. I doubt they'll have a lot of money as well, so it's like. Why would I bother? Also, these soldiers are out of date. I'm just gonna kick some of them out, out of there. Because I don't wanna be losing money right now. And I really don't need all this many guys, so. Um. We can get access through Shirvan, which we can't get. We should probably do so. Then again, I don't really want to leave this flank undefended, because I've got no forts here at all, so... I guess we can just march into Thingyland. You could take it off and show it to the camera. <laughs> Scientific contribution. <laughs> oh, you guys. Okay. Yeah, our king's in the mountains right now. He's suffering attrition. That's good. We really want him to die. 
I'll gladly pay like a million admin points for that. Also, speaking about admin points, our religious unity is not going to rise until we take this decision. Or we finish up uh, religious up to the third degree. Well, that will make it a lot cheaper, but I think we're just going to take that decision right now and we can start converting something. Maybe we can start converting something now. I doubt it though. Let me just check. No, like. Oh, this is just way too terrible. Theodora would be the easiest thing to convert, apparently. No, it's that's bullshit. It's total bullshit. We can totally convert stuff if we stab up twice. And then pick that decision. Which, now that we have the theologian, we should probably do that. Breaks of admission. Missionary strength plus two. Don't mind if I do. So now we can uh, sort of convert provinces, which is nice. Because that'll, that'll work out. Yeah. That'll work out just fine. Will the real fly away please stand up? When your ruler or heir, for that matter, in a battle gets attrition, are there places showing them an increased percentage of chance he has of dying? Uh, no. But if he's in a siege, or uh, suffering attrition, he just gets an extra roll. Like, if he's in a battle, if he's a general, he gets an extra roll, uh, an extra death roll, and if he's, um, if he's suffering attrition, or in a siege, in a siege, I believe a siege yeah, works works in, in the same way, it's just uh, works in the same way as a battle, so that's just an extra siege tick. So, you know, there is that. I need to have that a little bit smaller. Yeah, let's ask access through this guy, and then we can uh, start marching on. Gazi Kamuk and possibly Ast Astrakhan, which I do believe we can believe. Oh wait, Astrakhan is a thing. Oh wow, Astrakhan is a thing. Are they? Uh, they went for defensive ideas. No cost for reinforcing. Oh, they've got horde traditions. Okay. I doubt they'll pick hostile core creation cost. So Astrakhan would be a good vassal to have. Flory, you grew grass glasses. <laughs> yeah, my eyes were uh, fucking up again, so. Wearing glasses for uh, the next couple of days and probably getting new lenses, because. You know, I, I read some disturbing things about what happens if you get infection, so. Don't want any of that. Well, I, I doubt they're strong. They just got. They probably just got spit out recently. So. Well, I really want to see the whole shirt, though. Okay. It says, uh, I'm the goodest. I don't know. And this... It says the goodest. <laughs> Can't we just enter no guy? I mean, this seems kind of stupid. What's the supply limit here? 16? Yeah, we're over to we're over the thing there. Let's uh, let's get a couple of guys out of here. I don't want to suffer any unnecessary attrition. Oh, what is this? Going to Ustjurt on the second. See, it looks like he's walking into Karakorum, but he's definitely working in uh, walking into Ustjurt, and he's going to arrive in oh my god, a fuckload of days. So probably he's gonna he's probably gonna be locked up on uh, the twenty third. Well. He's gonna be locked up on the 24th, but he, really he gets locked up on the 23rd. I, I'm so good at calculating that now. And again, that is a skill you need to have now because, uh, you know, you can't just derp around anymore. Okay, so... Yeah, let's leave the, the mercs in here, as well as the cannons. That should be good enough. I'm pretty sure, yeah. It is, and then we can keep on marching. We're gonna totally kick him in the nuts here. 
It is desert and it's his turf, so. If you tried laser eye surgery. <laughs> yeah. No, I haven't. But that's a pretty expensive joke. Okay. Yeah, we're kicking him in the balls. This is pretty, uh. Yeah. Even with his reinforcements coming in, that's just too little too late for him. Now, with those guys jumping in, though, that might, uh, that might screw me over, but I think we'll win the battle before they arrive. I said, I think we'll win the battle before they arrive. There you go. It's too late now, though. He's gonna march straight into me. And Gazi Kamuk is going down. Now, I'm not sure if I really want anything off of no guy. I mean, I suppose I could take this and uh, release Chiva. That could be a thing, but I believe I've got Chiva and cores anyway. I believe I've got Chiva and cores anyway. And Turkmeni has not even accepted culture, so... It's not even the same culture group. But yeah, I definitely need to watch out with my lenses, because, uh, you know, that might, that might, uh, fuck me up. If it starts hurting, I always panic, because I'm like, nah! Okay. Now, next up, we really want to kill, uh, this dude. So we should probably get some claims on this land. That's really expensive land. Look at look at Baghdad. Twenty one development. It's by far the richest province to, in the Middle East right now. Well, in my section of the Middle East. Why do you need to? I've sieged the fort down now, though. Okay. It just needs a day to calculate, then, I suppose. Ah, they're gonna march straight into me. They walk like this. So they march straight into my face. That's good. Is this Zoroastrian province there in the normal game, or is it the mod? It's there in the normal game. It was added in, um... It was added in, in, uh, Common Sense. Common Sense patch. It's uh, this province right here. It gets converted real early though, so you need to kick the Timurids in the balls real fast. Otherwise you get screwed and you lose your goal and that's no good. Alright, so we're either going to fight some nobles in Kushistan, which I don't know if I really want to deal with that right now. Let's see where Kushistan is. Oh shit, that's 15 development. Oh, but if I let them fight it out, I get local autonomy in Kirman Shah. Which I don't know if Kirman Shah is that impressive. Oh, I don't really care. Let them fight it out. Kirman Shah is not all that, that impressive. Okay. I uh, definitely at least want to get the cannons in there. And we should probably siege with the mercs and not with my uh, my guys. So that's that's real terrible. Now, I don't have any claims on this guy. Let me just once again check if I've got any Chiva cores. I don't, so I could take this and release Chiva. I mean, I have the Diplo rep for that, but I kind of want to release Najd. Oh, also, guys, if you release Vassal's not well, well I'll, I'll show you later. I kind of want to release Najd. I suppose we can cancel this with uh, Shirvan, but... Uh, like, I want to ally Muscovy and the Ottomans, and then have two vassals to feed, so preferably Baluchistan and, uh, and Najd, because Najd is real good at converting. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna have a real bad time converting. 
Then again, we are gonna pick up influence relatively quickly, so we could potentially get a second uh, dude. Also, I think if the Ottoman Alliance breaks, we're gonna have to get that. Okay, we'll take Shiva then. We'll take this province. So, Nogai, I'll be wanting a peace deal with you, but I'm gonna have to wait for that uh, Nogayan thing to finish. Nogayan claim before we can piece anything out. Now, let's see here. Let's leave uh, one guy and two cannons in there and then move on to Astrakhan. We can't exactly siege it. We'd need uh, another dude in there. Just definitely need six guys to siege that up. And then over here, I'd like to siege with, uh, well, my cannons, of course, and with all of the mercs. But the main army is gonna go to Istiart. And uh, chill over there. Let's see. I want uh, Kizil Shum. I want war operations. I want you to annoy your treats with people and give me ducats. That's 60 war score. Yeah, we definitely need to uh, siege up his capital in that province. Hi, dude! I guess in the long term you'd make money off of that. I guess in the long term it will be uh, profitable to do uh, to uh, to get your eyes lasered because I need to pay uh, 50 euros every six months to to keep my lenses and that's that's minimum because if you lose lenses then you need to go more often so it's kind of it's kind of eh. ah got no guy down that should uh, temper him a little bit. Now we definitely need to siege this fort down. Possibly even more. Uh, no, that's the only fort he's got left. So after that, we'll probably have like 99% war score on him. So Don't really see this going the wrong way. Oh man, we really need to march fast there. I forgot to save those Astrakhanis. Twenty uh, eighth. They might not make that. Well, looks like they will. And then they'll definitely want to be out if we see to Astarkan down. Because that's our last fort. All right. Leave the mercs and the cannons in there. And then we're gonna chase his filthy army down. Of course, now that we entered, we can't... Now that we entered and merged, we can't um, go back to Rin, which is sad. If we ask access through Astrakhan, though, we can... Uh, we don't need to go all the way around the Caspian Sea. Are there more Chivan cores for me? Yep, Gurjani. So we kind of want Gurjani as well. Is Turkmeni the primary nation of... Yes, okay. Uh, Turkmeni, you need to check that if it's the primary culture of that nation, otherwise you can't release it anyway. So. Uh, let's check no guy. He might want to give me what I want. Nope. Nope. Definitely not. The dockets are real. And do we have any loans? Yeah, we've got two loans. I want to pay those back. Also, I'm pretty sure Uzbek has a fort. Yeah, so that's probably uh, botching the war score up there for us. We can definitely peace out uh, Gazakimuk though, but not before we move our dude over. Also, are you using? Wow. Apparently, my ruler is the best general I have. <laughs> that's pretty. <laughs> that's pretty funny. We can definitely peace out Gazakimuk. But we're gonna wait until we enter that province. As you come up. Familiar treaties, pay me war app, and pay me all bunch dockets. Seems about right. Although if we if we do take Earth Chance, we're gonna have to convert it first. Ah, we're not taking Earth Chance. We're not taking Earth Chance. I'll take it uh, some other time. 
Because, you know, I, w I want these vassals to start converting for me. That's like the main use you've got for vassals, right? So, so let's start uh, getting a claim on the Timmy Timmies. With Astrakhan down, he should surely be willing to submit. If not, I'll just start occupying his shit. And then he really should be, uh... Should be willing to give in. We'll win the battle first. Oh, wait. That might not go too well. But he's not willing to accept. Oh, so I don't need this. No, no, we really have to go uh, siege up some more shit. Sadly. Okay. Well, either we just took another loan or no. Okay. Pretty close to submitting. I mean, if seats up all his fucking. Fo oh, okay, there we go. But now he's got more dockets. <laughs> and I. I don't want to piece him out before I can take all of his dockets. I mean, come on. You realize you can use glasses to pull in the ladies, right? Yeah. Well. Thankfully, there's no need for that. Oh, so I look shit with glasses. Every time I, I wear glasses on stream, people are like, Oh, are you sick? You look sick. Which, to be fair, I kinda am if I'm wearing glasses. Sick in the eye. Sick in the head. Okay, no guy. Yeah, now he really doesn't have any more ducats, so... This is fine, this is fine. Now, we don't want to core this province, but we definitely want to convert it. Shit, that's super expensive. Maybe I can get a missionary strength guy? I can. And 37 months. I'm gonna be overextended for 37 months because... Let me go show this art ship. We should probably peace out first. Okay, I'll be wanting the following off of Akunulu. Definitely want to humiliate them, whatever whatever happens. So, Akunulu, you're getting humiliated. And then I'd still like to full annex him if that's possible. And I definitely can, so that's good. Uh, oh, I could make him revoke cores. Oh, this is so prestigious. Oh, look at all that prestige. Gimme. And take the remainder of his dockets. That, that's, uh, that seems about right. Uh, bada bing bada bang, 68 pee, pee points, baby. Fuck yeah. Alright, so now we need to core this and uh, raise autonomy there, which is kind of sad because, you know. Apparently, there's tons of unrest here, mostly because of war exhaustion. Well, and overextension and separatism and intolerance and unaccepted culture and etc. etc. <laughs> I don't know, I might want to release, I mean, increase the autonomy there in those provinces that are acting all uppity all the fucking time. Because it fucking blows. Really want to be increasing it there. Okay, so if we, um, if we create a subject now, which if we were to release Chiva, they will follow the Sunni faith, because the majority of the provinces in here is uh, in, that we are going to release is Sunni. So if we convert this province first and then release them, uh, they'd be uh, they'd be Zoroastrian. <sighs> Flurry foot of your cat. 
Can you show the Persian culture map? Yes. There you go. Afghan, Khorasan, Kurdish, Mazadran, and Baluchi. Which, that's why Baluchistan is a pretty good vassal, because they'll be the same culture group. So. Too bad about uh, Turkmenia. Kind of sad. Hey, Floyd, you look sick, sick with glasses, man. <laughs> oh, you guys.